What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Revolution. Uh, today we are going to be picking up a whole new team, just like we do every single episode. Uh, there's not really too much to go over before we start spinning the wheel. The only thing is that we did win the last episode, or we did win the last game in the previous episode. So we do keep our veto for this go around. So hopefully uh, I'll be able to uh, use my veto wisely and hopefully the wheel is generous to me because in the last video it really really was. It gave me a really solid team. So uh, let's hope we have a, a, a similar bit of success. So I think it's time to just get into it. So here we go. Let's get it going with the starting pitching. You guys may have noticed that I got a couple more cards too on my uh, homepage and we got the Angels. Okay, so we're definitely going to go ahead and use the 85 overall Garrett Richards. Not a bad start, but I just finished the Rockies collection. I went ahead and I bought uh, Arenado, Blackman, those guys and uh, Hopefully I land on them. So then our second starting pitcher is for the Brewers. So I'm thinking Marco Estrada. Okay, so two solid right-handers so far. Looking for a good, good southpaw in there to mix things up. Uh, and we got the Nationals. Um, damn, I don't have Scherzer. Rip. Um, hmm, Scherzer is not an option. So who else is on the Nationals that I have in my inventory? I want to make sure I don't miss anybody, like no Expos or anything. Uh, just in case doesn't look like I have so far Homer Bailey. No Saber Higgins on the Mets uh, Nothing so far guys. I don't know who I have from the um, Washington Nationals, I guess I go with 78 Gio Gonzalez right here I think he's probably the best bet that I have because I don't have Scherzer yet I'm working on getting his collections complete because I really want to have all these cards available for revolution So just bear with me give me a couple more weeks and these programs uh, and these collections will be completed So that way whenever we have an opportunity like that, I'll be able to just take Scherzer. So then we got the Brewers again um so, can't take Marco Estrada, obviously. Um, so, we're looking for somebody decent from Milwaukee for our fourth starting pitcher. And so far, it's not looking too promising here, guys. We're down to the 75s. I really don't know what other starting pitcher I have. We're going to have to go into the bronze for Chase Anderson. So, I really hope that we don't land on the fourth spot in our rotation. I really hope that we land on one or two. Even three wouldn't be bad. And last but not least, we got the Baltimore Orioles. Um... And the Orioles, we are going to be able to use somebody. <laughs> I don't know who it's going to be. Um, let's see. Baltimore, Baltimore, Baltimore. No. Uh oh, this isn't looking too fantastic either. Baltimore's best pitcher is going to be Bud Norris. Okay. Well, there's the starting rotation. Hopefully, we get a little bit better arms in the bullpen. The bullpen, I have good cards from pretty much every team, so it shouldn't be too bad. Red Sox. Well, I don't have Craig Kimbrell, <laughs> so uh, I pretty much just missed that one. Something in Tyler Thornburg, uh, if I could find him. Yeah, there he is. 75 overall, decent break with uh, good per nine. So we're going to go ahead and take Tyler Thornburg there. Jumping into the next round, or the next spin, it's going to be the Braves. Oh, man, I was really hoping for the... Uh, the Orioles right there to be able to take uh, uh, Zach Britton, but we got the Braves, so I think we're gonna have to take Daniel Winkler. I think that's the highest overall we have, so he's gonna have to be in there. Not not a terrible not a terrible arm. He's playing up to a 75 or an 80 as well from a 75, so that's not too bad. Next up, we got the Reds, so we're definitely gonna go ahead and take Rysel Iglesias right there. So we got three righties. Look once again, looking for a good lefty. We haven't really been uh, ha or we haven't really been having a lot of luck with the lefties. So then we got the Cubs, so I think we got to go Bruce Suter. The the Per nines are just too good. He's already in my default bullpen anyway. Um, okay. Bruce Suter in there. Two or three more picks. We got the Reds again. I don't know what Reds lefties I have, but I would really like uh, a good one. Um, I mean, I don't really know if I'm going to have many Reds lefties, if any. So I might just have to take another righty. But let's see. Who else do I have from the Reds here? Um, Billy Wagner. No. Cincinnati Reds, who else is on the squad other than Rysel Iglesias? I'm looking for that Cincinnati logo on one of these guys, and it's we're going down for this one, boys. I have a feeling we won't really hit this part of the bullpen very much. Keep scrolling down, keep scrolling down, and it's gonna be David Hernandez. So not the best, not the best pick right there. I highly doubt we'll be using David Hernandez over Iglesias or Thornburg or even Winkler, honestly. Um, okay, next up we got the Pirates. There we go. I'll take that. I'll take a nice Felipe Rivero right there. That's a good, good little lefty, and you know, hopefully we can get one more. Hopefully we land on the Brewers 
right here. Brewers, come on, man. We got the Tigers. All right, I don't think the Tigers have any lefties. Uh, so I'm going to go have to go. I'm going to go ahead and go with uh, either Albuquerque or Benoit. I'm going to go with Benoit because he's got more pitches. So Felipe Rivero is our only lefty in the pen for this episode. Now it is time to get the defensive captain of the team, the guy behind the dish, the catcher. Here we go. It's going to be from the Cubs. Okay, Wilson Contreras. Okay, that's, that's fine. I do have him. Wilson Contreras, you know, pretty decent hitting. So, all right, he's going to be my he's going to be my catcher. First base, the corner position. Who's it going to be? It is from the Tigers, Miguel Cabrera. All right, not going to be upset about that. Nice power bat in the lineup. There we go. So far, two live series golds. I'm not mad about where this team is going offensively. I'm liking this so far. For second base, we got the Mariners. So we could go D Gordon or Cano. Um or even Harold Reynolds, who's basically a very similar version to D, D. Gordon. Um, I'm leaning more towards D. Gordon. Yeah, I'm going to go to D. Gordon for a second base right here from the Mariners. I think that's a pretty decent option. So, hey, three picks, three goals. Not terrible. Not terrible. We're not in any silver or anything like that. So then third base for the Braves is going to be... Um, I really don't know. Who's, who's third base? It's not Buddy Bell. He's in the Rangers. Torrey's in the Cardinals. Bryant's... The Cubs, Mariners, um, the Braves. Who's it gonna be? I really don't even don't even know. Chipper Jones? Okay, I'll take the live series chipper. Unfortunately, the diamond chipper is a primary position left fielder. So uh, rookie chipper, the silver is going to be our third baseman. Not terrible. He's not a bad hitter. The silver does not mean anything. Uh, shortstop? Oh my god. It's okay. It's okay. For shortstop, I, when we landed on the Rockies, I thought we were still on third base, so would have used Arenado. But hey, I'm not going to complain about using this Troy Tulowitzki card. He's going to be on the squad. This is actually going to be his debut. He's actually already at my shortstop. That is a very lucky spin right there. Our first diamond of the team offensively. I like it. All right, left field. We got the Giants. Okay. The Giants for left. Uh, Melky Cabrera. We could use the new all-star Melky Cabrera. This card I actually did really well with. I know it was against the computer. Don't get me wrong, but his stance was actually really nice, so I'm not going to be upset about that. Come on, center field. Give me the Angels. Bless me with this. The Pirates. Okay, Starling Marte? He might be a, a right fielder. No, he is a, a center fielder. I think that's the best option I have. Um, yeah, Starling Marte looks like the best option I have. Yes, yeah, so we're going to go ahead and take Starling Marte right here. He's going to be my center fielder. And then the final position is going to be right field. And let's see where it goes. It is going to the Cardinals. Okay, Ina Slaughter. I mean, he's, he's a decent card. He's, you know, he's a diamond in there, but... Yeah, the hitting just isn't amazing, so let me just see if there's anybody, any other Cardinals in right field that I would be more comfortable using. Um, uh, that's the Reds. St. Louis. Um, doesn't look like it, really. Yeah, it looks like I'm going to have to go with Eno Slaughter. Um, like, really good contact, good vision, decent fielding or whatever. I might... No, I have to put him in right field. So there we go. All right. Well, that is our starting nine. Let me go ahead and draft the bench now. Remember, guys, the bench is all silver cards. Nothing greater than a silver. They can't be golds or anything like that. So the first one we got is from the Rays. So maybe Kevin Kiermeyer in the outfield. What? Um, he's mainly there for his fielding. I don't know if he'd be a great bench bat. Um, so who else could I go to from the, from the Tampa Bay Rays off the bench? Hmm. I don't really know. Who's the, I forgot who the Rays collection reward is. Because I know I have their collection done. I mean, it might just have to be Kevin Kiermeyer, but at the end of the day, like, he's not the greatest. Or we could go Matt Joyce. I don't really know which one would be better right here. I don't even know why I'm thinking of Kevin Kiermeyer. I literally just realized that he is a gold. So that was literally a waste of about 30 seconds. So I apologize for that. Um, all right, next one is going to be from the Reds. Okay, the Reds, I could do Scooter Jeanette. Scooter Jeanette might be good from the Reds. Where is he? Where is Scooter Jeanette? Okay, I'll take him off the bench. That's a that's a pretty solid bench bat. All right, I like that. I like that. All right, uh, next one is going to be from the Mets. So we can't use Cespedes, but I believe we can use Michael Conforto. I think we were talking about using him last game too. So yeah, Michael Conforto, he's gonna be there. Next up, we're going to center field, or I don't even know why I'm saying that. We're going to the fourth bench bat, and it's going to be the Rays. Oh my god, I thought that was going to give me the Rangers, dude. I would have been able to use Joey Gallo or Robinson Chirinos, but it's okay. It's okay. Um, 
Tampa Bay Rays in or as a silver bench bat. Mm, that's going to be tough right here. I don't really know off the top of my head because Kiermaier is a gold. I don't really know. Tampa Bay? Hecheria is a bronze. Let me just go check my inventory really quick. Our best bet is Wilson Ramos, or we could go Cargo, even Matt Duffy. I might go Matt Duffy, honestly, a righty with good contact against both sides and good vision. I think I'm actually going to choose him over Wilson Ramos. Might be an unpopular choice, but I'm going to go ahead and go with Duffy. Okay, one more, guys. One more bench bat, and it's going to be from the Rockies. Okay, so either DJ LeMahieu or Gerardo Parra. I think we're going to go with DJ LeMahieu just because we need another righty, and that makes that makes sense for me. So we don't really have a lot of power from the right side of the plate. We have a little bit from the left with uh, Joyce, Jeanette, and Conforto, but overall, it's okay. So we honestly drafted a really good team right here, and here's the thing. The lowest overall card that I have isn't even in the starting nine. It's in the bullpen. The lowest overall player Player I have is David Hernandez from the Reds so he's like a 72 playing up to a 75 so I'm gonna go ahead and use my veto see if I can get another good uh, reliever in here so I'm gonna go ahead and use my veto on my bullpen because remember the veto has to be used on the lowest overall player on the team so we used it and we got the athletics that is perfect because I know exactly who I'm going with I needed another lefty and I'm going with the man Ryan Bookter 100 hits per nine with 84 Ks per nine 97 break 100% I need another good lefty. That's actually perfect right there. That veto worked out fantastic. Okay, here we go, guys. We're taking on the Florida Finaglers. Let's see who he has on his squad. Matt Latos. So we're facing the Diamond Latos. Victor Robles, Glaber Torres, Jose Ramirez, Cano McCutcheon, Pablo Sanchez. I like that creative player. Gary Sanchez, Miggy, and of course, the pitcher. We got Marco Estrada on the bump for us. Okay, I'll take that four pitch walk to D Gordon to lead this game off. That's not too bad right there. I'm running on this pitch. Let's go. Nice pitch to run on. Easy stolen base for D Gordon right there. I'm actually going to take third as well right here. Miggy at the plate. He gave me another off speed away. Easily in there. Let's go. 90 feet away. And hey, it does the job. It's not a glamorous home run, but the run does come across to score. one nothing lead for the Revolution Squad. Really hope this pitch goes exactly where I want. Nope, that was not where I wanted. Tulo's got great fielding, but 97 speed is going to be too much, man. Yeah, I got a little bit too much of the plate, and now he's going to have that speed on the bases. He's running first pitch. I gave him a fastball, but I didn't slide step. I didn't think he'd go first pitch, but he's aggressive as hell. Wow. I cannot believe he just got that placement. That is the most perfectly placed hit on a hit and run I think I've ever seen in this game. D. Gordon running to third, or, or Victor Robles running to third. I mean, hey, that's just an absolutely, that's just a great piece of hitting. Yo, this guy's hit placement is impeccable. Come on, get him out of second. Get him out of second. Come on. He's going to... Oh, no. It, I literally went through the guy, but the throwing motion didn't get the tag. Oh, my God. That's insanely frustrating. Easy play at first base. There we go. All right. Hey, I'll take that. We got out of that inning with only one run allowed. That's okay. That's okay. Oh, we can get him. It's a yellow throw, though. What? He got that? Yo, Troy Tulowitzki is the GOAT, man. Get your hands on this card. I for sure thought he was going to be safe. Thank goodness that Miguel Cabrera has, like, no speed. Because if it was anybody remotely quick, he would have been safe. But Troy Tulowitzki, man, hell of a play. So we're in the top of the fourth inning right now. Both of my base runners this game have come from walks. So I'm still hitless. We're three innings through. Second time through the order, and I still don't even have a hit yet. That is possible to be my first hit, but yeah, that's going to stay up there. Man, it's just, I, I don't know what it is. I'm not really, I'm not really having trouble tracking the ball or anything. It's just actually putting the PCI on the ball is getting to be a little bit difficult for me right now. And see, back-to-back -back pitches, I just fly out, so that's not good. Too low. Yo, he gave that one a good ride, but it's going to like the deepest part of the yard. Yeah, you just... Ah, you can't hit it there in, in Minute Maid Park, man. I, that could have been my one. That could have been my one swing. 
Oh, yeah, we left that one right over the middle to Gary Sanchez. We're lucky that just resulted in, in a base hit. We're lucky that ball wasn't lifted in the air because that, that should have left the yard. I mean, you look at that pitch location. Yeah, there's no reason that ball should still be in the yard with, with Sanchez up the plate. Downgrade or not. And there we go. We got the pop-up from Miggy. Should end the game, or end the inning, not the game. We still got a long way to go. There's a lot of baseball left to play. I don't know why I'm getting so far ahead of myself. There we go. Yes, finally. Starling Marte gets us our first hit of the game here in the top of the fifth to lead it off. That's what we're looking for. Now we can get rid of that goose egg. Now we can focus on getting these runs actually across. I'm going to take off on this pitch right here. Great jump. Great jump. Ball is low. That's an easy stolen base. Now we're in scoring position. And I'm going to take third as well. I got a great jump going to third. 90 feet away. Hey, that's, that's plenty deep enough. That is plenty deep enough to get this run in. 83 speed. McCutcheon's got a decent arm, but that's not going to do anything. Let's go, man. Two to one lead. Manufacture a run. I love it. Starling Marte, come on, baby. Come on. At least get off the wall. Something. Starling Marte with a solo shot. Barely got out. Just barely. But hey, we're not going to say no to that. That gives us a two or two run lead now in the top of the seventh. We're going to go to the bottom. And man, Starling Marte just came up big. Any insurance runs right now we can get are very, very much appreciated. Okay. I was under the impression that he was waiting for a pitch low, and I gave him the high fastball, and he was ready to turn on it. Okay. You know what? That makes that Starling Marte home run that much more important now. Insurance runs, just like I was saying. Ooh, he hit that curveball hard. That's the end of the seventh inning. We both got a run right there, and now it is another one-run game going into the last two innings. I'm bringing in this Bruce Suter card in the eighth inning. This, the one time I used him in actual, like, online gameplay was, was not good. So, I'm really hoping I get a little bit of a better performance out of him this time, instead of allowing, what, four runs, like that one viewer game? Who, uh, the viewer who beat me in that one, you're, I know you're watching this. Yeah, uh, that still, it still hurts. So we made it to the top of the ninth inning, we got Melky Cabrera up first, followed by, I believe... Troy to or Miggy or to I don't remember whoever we've got two three four up basically so we got a decent part of the order so it would be really really nice if we could try to get a run across right here but nope I'm just folding on at bats against Dylan Batances I don't even know what to say about that what where was my PC I was just early on it okay I mean I it didn't look like I, or I didn't feel like I should have missed that that bad, but, you know, if I'm early on it and I'm out in front and it's, it's a slurve, that's what's going to happen. All right, well, Batances did us dirty this game. Two completely, or two innings where we look completely foolish, so let's see if we can close it out here. He's got some good hitters coming up. Come on, get him on this splitter. I'll take that. It's not a strikeout, but I'll take that. Ground ball, boom. One out in the ninth. Two more to go. Oh, he was kind of, it felt like he was kind of looking for that or something inside at least. He did get that inside pitch, but he popped it up and we are down to the last out. This at bat scares me, guys. Created player, diamond created player against Bruce Suter. He's the tying run with two outs in the ninth inning. This is, I, I would rather be facing a lot of other different hitters than the created player right here. And I left that one over the middle. He did pop it up. And it looks like we are going to take this victory. It came down to the wire. It came down to the last batter. But man, I am happy with that. Starling Marte had a, an extremely clutch home run to give us that insurance run in the seventh. Without his home run, we are still playing this game. I don't really even know if I should have technically won this game. I only got three hits. He got six. So technically, I got the hits that mattered. And I was a little bit more aggressive on the base paths. But, you know, like one home run... And then, you know, like a, like a RBI, like, it's just not going to do it. So either way, we both, I think, didn't play that well. But I did come out with a victory, so I'll take it. That does mean I keep my veto for the next episode. So when we start choosing our team again, I do have the option to take a player out if I don't like him. Or take the lowest overall player out and respin. So hopefully that turns out well for us in the next episode. But anyway, guys, let me know what you thought of this episode of Revolution down in the comments section. Drop a thumbs up on it if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you are new to keep up with this series as well as the multiple other MLB The Show series that I have on my channel. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Have a good rest of your day. Peace.